Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is back on the Toby Eye Tracker 5. My few months later review. How's the Eye Tracker holding her up? Have I had any issues with it? Well I'm going to talk about that in this video and I get various questions. Do I still use it? Indeed I do. It's an incredible piece of equipment. Like I said I'm going to get into that in this video. I'm also going to talk about using the eye tracker on things like large monitor screens, that type of thing. And on laptops, I get various questions. Can you use this on our laptop? And in, indeed you can. I do have a gaming laptop myself, so I'm going to show you that. Oh, such a visceral experience in the Spitfire, I've got to say. Well, okay, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so perhaps I should uh, approach the first question that I get quite a lot. Are you still using your eye tracker? Indeed I do. I absolutely love this thing. When I'm making videos and I have to look at various parts of the cockpit, I mean, you can do this quite easily with the Tolby. You just tilt your head down. I'm in a Spitfire here, so I can look around, look at all the different parts. Of course, over the engine there, but it, you know, if I want to pause on a certain screen and I want to reference that I'm moving the mouse around, so if I'm moving the mouse, my head might move. Typically have the eye tracker off. Now this is, I've just pressed a button on my controller to turn it off. Now this is your sort of traditional view. What a difference it is from the eye tracker. Just feels very bland. Even an external mode. Or external view just feels very bland to look at the aircraft like that. I'm going to press that button again. Hey, eye tracking's back. And I can look around. Oh, it's a treat flying the Spitfire. You know, I, th I always thought the DCS Spitfire was the most visceral experience. I believe this is Aeroplanes Heaven, so it's the old Spitfire model. I know people don't get along with this model. But it is great with the Tolby, I've got to say. But what a difference it makes when you've got it turned on and you're just looking around naturally, keeping an eye on my speed there. I can bring my speed back a bit, in fact. And looking around at the land. It's just a huge experience. Now, I use it mainly when I'm flying GA aircraft or aircraft like the Spitfire, some warbirds, that type of thing, and Yonkers aircraft. It's great in that. In airliners, I tend to use that kind of view just so I can scan through my uh, different settings and instruments and uh, flight management systems and goodness knows what. I've got to get used to I mean, it does take a while to get used to. So when you're taking off and landing, for example, that's a big one. You've got to get used to having that natural head movement because typically... That's the screen you're looking at, and it's all very still, nothing's moving. So you've got to get used to that sort of head movement. So, let's answer some more questions. So another question that often comes up, not to myself, but on other people's videos as well, I've noticed. Can you use it with a large monitor? Now, I'm going to link you to one of Mark's sim hangers video down below in the description. Go and look at the size of its monitor. It's huge, yet he's using the Tolby eye tracker, I believe, with no issues. In fact, the video I'm linking you to is the new Tolby mount uh, system. I don't have that, so go and watch that if you're interested in that. So yeah, large monitors, I don't believe you're going to have any issues unless it's some kind of uh, movie screen, what they call them, pro projectors, that type of thing. I'm not sure it'll work well with that, but who knows? But yeah, go and take a look at Mark's monitor. He's using it, no problem. So my monitor is only like a 17 inch, 16, 17 inch, I believe. It's fine for me at the moment, uh, but I have no issues. And indeed, you get the parts of the kit that comes with the Tolby. You can even attach it to curved monitors as well. Now, another thing I'm going to show you here, just while I'm flying around, I'll overlay it on screen, are my settings. These are my personal settings. Over the past few months, I've actually come away from eye tracking. So if I move my eye, I'm keeping my head still, so 
the picture's staying centred in the centre of my cockpit there. Moving my eye, the screen's not moving. It got a bit distracting to have eye tracking on in the sim. I guess with some aircraft it might be useful, but generally I've turned head tracking off. And there you go, you can see the rest of my settings there, so let's take that off screen. Okay, so with those questions out of the way, I mean, l let's just go back. Yes, I still use it. It's in front of my monitor. I can turn it off and on at whim. And it's just wonderful for that. I'm wearing headphones to record my voice. When I'm flying around, when I'm not recording, I'm just using my head and eyes. And I wear glasses, by the way, when I'm using my computer. Uh, I don't wear them sort of out and about generally unless I need to read something. It's just the case of getting a bit older, isn't it? Your eyes get weaker. But I always wear glasses when I'm recording or using my computer. And the Tolby works just fine. Let me now show you the Tolby working on my gaming laptop. So there's a Tolby Eye Tracker 5 connected to my laptop. Now you can't see those blinking lights on screen, I'll talk about that in a moment. You can see there the paper that came from the back of the actual sticky magnet that goes on your laptop. And if you can remove the Torbit eye tracker just by taking it off, and there's the magnetic strip. You do get two of them supplied with the Torbit eye tracker 5. So one for my monitor, one for my laptop, and there you go, it's back on. Now you don't see those blinking lights in real life, it's just the cameras picking up the infrared. So there you go. In, let's say, the top right corner of the screen now, I'm going to show you footage of me using Flight Simulator on my laptop with the Tolby Eye Tracker 5. And it works absolutely fine. For some reason, I don't know why I'm trying to get to the boss of it, it seems to work that little bit better on my laptop than it does on my monitor. I'll have to try and get to the bottom of that. Now you've got to excuse my setup there around my laptop. It's at the other end of my room. It's where I usually retro game. I've got a Mister unit. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, but it's where I've got my old TV to retro game and that type of thing. But as you can see, yeah, Tolby works absolutely fine. Use a magnetic strip on the front of your laptop there. Pin it on wherever you've got a kind of bezel on your laptop. And it works, and you calibrate it, it just works really well. So yeah, thumbs up from that, working very well on my gaming laptop. And so there you go, that's my few months later review and thoughts of the Tolby Eye Tracker 5. Something I use one heck of a lot when I'm flying around. I'll use it in upcoming videos, one or two upcoming videos as well, just to prove if you like that I do use it quite often. And if I'm not using it, it's still on the front of my monitor and back into my normal viewing mode here, where it's just still doesn't feel quite right in this mode nowadays. But I've still got that set up, so I can just turn it off and on with a click of a button. And it's just so versatile. Now, I, I hope I've answered enough of your questions in this video, enough of your concerns about using it with laptops or bigger screens or curved screens. It seems to work no matter what you have. But do let me know your thoughts on the video. If you are going to buy the Tolby Eye Tracker 5 through my video, because my videos help you to buy it, do go through my affiliate link, please, down below in the description. I get a little kickback. You pay the set. Actually, you get a 5% discount with my affiliate link, so it's worth going through that. Throughout the year, Tolby do do 15% off quite often, I've found. So you'll often find the Tobii Eye Tracker 5 at 15% off. And once again, if I've helped you to decide to buy it, please go through the affiliate link. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you soon.